Hey everyone, Scream Queen Gaming here. Now today we are playing a game called Bad Ben. Now, as you can see, there's a photo sensitive epilepsy warning, so just be aware of that before we jump in. So, featuring Nigel back as Tom Riley. I hope I'm saying that right. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to repeat that, but how the <clears throat> do I move? Uh, so, move is that, E is interact. Tab is a tablet and situational awareness mechanic. <laughs> Come on, that's ain't rocket science, she got it. <laughs> the following footage was retrieved from the residence of Thomas Riley, a home he had just purchased at a sheriff's sale. Okay. I'm just pulling up. It has not been altered in any way. Well, that's not good. Oh, that's a very loud door slam. Okay, well, I'm watching you through the security system. Does that mean I'm the bad guy? Can I click on? Um, I just pressed the F button. Okay, so we know what that button does now. <laughs> okay, well, I don't see any kind of interaction. No, nothing's really popping up. So we'll go in the next room. Oh, the living room. It's quite a nice house, actually. It's great that it's fully furnished. What the? Okay, I'm guessing that's something I can interact with, so that's good. Here's the tablet that controls the security system. Let's see if the camera and motion sensors are all working. Okay, I think that was... Yep, yeah, tab. Okay, first floor kitchen seems to be working, so that's fine. Oh, there's another one I can collect off. That's fine, so we'll just go from room to room then. Cool. Oh, wait. Is that a key? Was that there before? Oh, I remember that's there, because I might need to pick up later. I think that's a door here. Yep. Awesome. I like that unit at the back of the bed. Was that him coughing? Hopefully, because otherwise there's somebody else in the house. Why is there a suit of armour? Okay, so, so far there's two bedrooms. I'm confused as to why one of them's downstairs, though. I can't seem to go in there. I like his wee wiggle when he walks. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Do you really want to go in the basement? Did you see that? No, oh, turn round, turn, turn round. There was definitely someone there. They went over here. There's nowhere else to go. Hmm. I didn't imagine that. That was definitely there, wasn't it? Okay, right, let's go downstairs anyway. Still don't like the idea of going into the basement though, because the basements are never good in these games. Oh, that's the basement. Now I need the key. I forgot there was a door there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so far so good. It's like, don't sell yourself short. Like seriously, the game's really good so far. Besides, any game that includes a button that lets you swear is awesome. <laughs> don't know what's happened to this camera. But it doesn't seem to be taking any notice of it, so... Huh, so what's that key for then? It's the only key I could see. What the? What is that? Again, was that there before? Yeah, I don't like that. Really don't like that. Let's keep looking. Wait. 
I looked as if there was something else like glowing on that shelf. Hang on. I've disappeared. <laughs> I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I don't know where I am. <laughs> not good. Not good. Not good. Yeah, I'm stuck in that corner and I can't move. <laughs> That's not good. Not good. I might need to start again. No. Oh, okay. Excuse me a minute. A few moments later. While I was getting back to this area, I noticed that there was like actually a key upstairs. So we'll go and get that. And hopefully that's the right key. Just in here. But while we're up here, we'll check the other rooms just in case. Might be a case of it doesn't tell you until you try it. So don't know if you can pick up multiple items. That's not ah, it's not right. No, we'll keep going round. I think it's quicker going this way anyway. No, don't get stuck in there again. <laughs> oh god! Sorry. I, don't, I, I, I hate, hate, hate spiders. I cannot look at my screen right now. <laughs> That's awful. I had no idea that was there. Yeah, what? Oh, is this... Okay, I'm preparing myself in case this spider's still there. Oh, no, it's gone. Oh, chills. I swear, it just if I see a spider, it just freaks me out. I can't... I can't. Okay, well, it wasn't the suit of armour that fell over, so at least there's that. I'm saying that, I probably would have heard a, a clang. There's that creepy doll again. Also, that coughing, I don't know if that's him or somebody else. <laughs> Whoa! Um, that's a lot of keys. Best idea. Can you even pick any of them up? No. Is that somebody sitting in the corner? I don't think going to bed in here is a good idea. What is going on in this house? Okay, we'll go through this way then. And hopefully that spider won't come back. I well, don't see anything broken in here. Oh, something in here. I don't even know what was there, actually. Ew! Ew! That's not how you act. You you basically go, okay, someone's in the house with me. I'm leaving. You leave. Leave the house. Leave. Go. And it probably wouldn't even let me. Oh. The only thing that would make this worse right now is if that spider reappeared. Well, that door opened. Are you going to let me leave? No. <laughs> of course not. Okay, at the moment, I'm just aimlessly walking around trying to find find out what's going on. But I think I might need to go upstairs again. Let's just go one room at a time. Uh, oh, definitely nothing in there. Last room in the house. What the? You have to go over to where the skinny man was sitting in the chair. No! <laughs> Oh, the chair doesn't seem to be there anymore, so I'll say that. I think the fuse box is in the basement. This asshole messing with me must be down there. Yeah, that makes sense. Except we've seen him in other areas of the house.
Okay, so I have to ask, I have to question. This guy bought this house without looking at it. And I know that's a thing, but they went out and bought this house at a police auction and the police didn't even think to check anything. Yeah, this guy has a good strong case to get his money back <laughs> if he survives. Not your home. I beg to differ, he paid money for it. I get the impression that both basement is open. You better not be down there, you little bitch. It's you and me now. You record me kicking your ass. Oh. Oh no. Okay, so basically what we've got here is the guy I'm playing as being stubborn as hell, like, I paid money for this, I ain't leaving, and the person in the house saying the same thing, essentially. Okay, well, let's see how it goes. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, the place isn't looking great. It definitely looks as if somebody's been living down here. Hmm. Okay, well, where does the cable go then? Oh, here we go. There, let me check the camera now. I'm gonna check other things as well first. Uh, I don't even want to know what's in that bucket. Okay, let's just get this camera fixed. Oh no. Uh, I would turn round. Wait, you weren't there a minute ago. Okay, seriously, you need to turn round. No! I'm not doing that. Search the place. <laughs> okay, we're, we're back to this thing. Well, at least it didn't kill him, but still, this is seriously the point you would just leave and demand your money back. Okay, well I can't go upstairs now. The desk is gone. I'm guessing that's the desk over there. Exactly! Yeah, thank. Time to leave. Time to leave. I... I I'm right there Becky. Why do I keep jumping back into this room? Why is the camera upside down? <laughs> Everything's messed up. Wait, are you oh. first I'll go in here. Okay. No exploding for me then. Looks like nowhere to go but up. Pretty much. I'm ready for whatever's up. Wait. Oh my 
God, that attic was the craziest shit. I've never seen so many hot goats in my life. Man, <laughs> the highlight of this whole experience. <laughs> okay, the person who created this game, if they created a short film based around this game, or did they make the film and then make the game based on the film? Because that was the exact same house. That's cool! If that is actually a real short film, I'm really interested to see it because, like, in case you don't know, which you probably don't, I, not, well, only a couple of years ago, finished a filmmaking course in college and made a lot of short films myself, so, like, it's something that I'm really interested in is watching other people's short films. So, like, I really want to see that if it is a real short film. Because that's cool! That's, oh, that's really cool. Okay, well, back to the game. Let's figure out what's going on here. Okay, they've okay. Uh, let's jump me back here. Oh, where am I supposed to go then? Can I go back the way? Nope. Right. Different tactic. Can I go right into the room? Uh, nope, because there's no way to go. It's, yeah, it's all blocked off. <gasps> oh! <laughs> okay. I guess that's not the way to go, although the chanting stopped. I'm saying that was the chanting... I'm so confused by this game now that I don't know if the chanting had already stopped. <laughs> okay. Can I go this way? Pretty much just... Let's just keep walking into the void and see what happens. Okay, interact. Okay, I can skip forward. I'm actually doing this this time. Oh, there's something. Okay, so I don't know what that was about. It looks like he'd been attacked. This game is so confusing. Oh, there, oh, that's... Is that the guy that was in the basement, or is that you? Wait, am I playing as the guy that was in the basement? Okay, so this was you watching the guy show up. Like, watching the character I was playing as show up. Based on the film's world and characters created by Nigel Back. Tom really voiced Nigel Back. Breaking Glass Pictures. Okay, right, I'm going to be looking them up because I definitely want to see their short films. So wait, is this a fan game then? I've really enjoyed that. The story is a little confusing, but I love the idea of it, the fact that it's connected to this world that's in these short films. But as a standalone, it's still a really interesting game. Thanks again for watching and stay safe, everyone. I'll see you later. Bye.